Hey guys, and welcome on in to another episode of Getting Wild with Terry and Friends, NHL Trends and Betting Picks. I'm Terry, ready to break down today's uh, 12-game slate. Uh, There's a bunch of good spots on today's slate. A couple of games I'm passing on as well, but there's nothing wrong with that, with a big slate. And um, we will start the show uh, by taking a look at yesterday, uh, as we always do, uh, seeing what, uh, what happened in the NHL yesterday. Uh, and we will start here with the first game, two games late. So it'll be a quick uh, recap here. Uh, Shea Theodore over half an assist, uh, a nice winner. Uh, he continues his assist streak. Uh, Jake Neighbors over half a point, sadly a loser. Um, his point streak comes to an end. I did mention on yesterday's show that I was adding the draw in both games. So a nice, uh, Plus 370 winner uh, with the draw on this one. A half unit play on that. Uh, So uh, overall, a two-in-one game. Uh, So I can't complain with this one. Uh, The LA Kings, Vancouver Canucks. I got my under. Uh, I did not get Canucks money line. Uh, A 3-2 win for the LA Kings. Um, And you know what? Uh, When you're wrong, you you got to own up to it. And... Uh, when I did my Can the Minnesota Wild Make the Playoffs video, um, L.A. faltering was one of the big reasons why uh, I thought Minnesota could get in. Uh, and, of course, it's gone the other way. Uh, L.A. Kings are heating up here, uh, and uh, the Wild have gotten cold. So got to admit when you're wrong, and uh, I was wrong when it came to uh, Minnesota making the playoffs. Obviously, they're not eliminated yet, but they will be. Uh, and I was wrong about this uh, Kings team. Uh, they look like they uh, are going to finish in the playoff spot. So um, under one Canucks money line lost. Uh, Connor Garland did not get a point. Uh, so that um, was unfortunate. But parlay of the day uh, continues to win. Uh, the fourth winner in a row. Uh, the fourth day in a row with a winner plus 182. Uh, the defenseman. Shea Theodore over half a point. Quinn Hughes over half a point. I did say you could take both for assists as uh, instead of points, um, but I wanted to play it safe just in case one of them scored and they both got assists. So if you took them for points, you got plus one eighty around plus one eighty two. Uh, if you took them for assists, well then you got over plus two hundred. Uh, so uh, overall, another nice winner there. And I've got two parlays of the day today with today's slate. Uh, It just, uh, there had to be two parlays of the day. So we will, of course, get to that uh, at the end of the show. Um, But first, we will take a look at the current standings now uh, after yesterday's two games. Florida in first with 97. Boston tied with 97. Toronto with 89. Uh, The Rangers with 98. Carolina with 97. Philadelphia with 81. Uh, Tampa Bay with 85, Washington with 79, Detroit with 78, uh, and then three points behind are the Islanders and the New Jersey Devils, Buffalo Sabres with 73, Pittsburgh with 70, Ottawa, Montreal, and then Columbus at the bottom of the Eastern Conference. We'll scroll up here back for a second. Uh, Detroit and Washington play today, so we'll be discussing them here shortly. Uh, Islanders, Devils, Sabres fans do not want to draw in this Washington-Detroit game. Uh, That would be absolutely a disaster uh, for fans of those teams. Uh, Colorado in first with 97, Dallas with 97, Winnipeg with 93. Uh, Vancouver in first with 98, LA with Edmonton with 88, LA with 87. So LA is right there behind the Edmonton Oilers. Um, Two games in hand for Edmonton. Uh, but uh, LA is uh, heating up right at the right time. Nashville in the top wild card spot with 88, Vegas with 85, St. Louis with 80, Minnesota with 77, uh, Calgary with 71, 
the Seattle Kraken who just um, continue to lose, lose, lose with 69 points. Arizona with 63, Anaheim with 52, and then Chicago and San Jose at the bottom of the Western Conference. We will take a look at the chat and see what people are thinking about today. And we'll get to today's slate. Uh, Ovi Wan Kenobi for another anytime goal. Uh, yes, of course. Um, you guys all know that I ride streaks uh, and um, Ovech cont continues to score. So we'll be talking about him soon. Let's get it today. Yes, uh, a really nice slate here today. Morning, Terry. Tough slate of games, but a lot of incredible matchups. I agree. Definitely some good spots here. Good day, Terry. To you as well, Captain Bride. Uh, what's up, Terry? I smashed a like. Thank you, Richie. You always do. Uh, Captain Bride did as well. Thank you so much. Uh, Supness says Lex. Uh, hope all is well, Lex. Nice to see you. Uh, Kane's puck line. Money. Interesting. Has it been money for me the last two times I've bet the Kane's puck line? I will say that. But... Um, maybe they get it today. We'll talk about them shortly. I just Hulk smash a like. Uh, well, hopefully it is uh, not broken. Hopefully other people can still hit it. <laughs> uh, Jets, Rangers, Canes, Caps, Leafs, and Reg. Jets under, Flames, Puck line, Avs race to two and four. That's kind of interesting. Um, Ducks race to two, Stars team total over three and a half. Colorado's been starting games off slow. So. But race to four, I could see maybe I could see that, but we'll talk about that game. We'll talk about that game. Good day, all. Wow, that Vegas goal night, St. Louis under was a great read, uh, and just missed the over in LA. Yeah, I didn't have the under in the LA game, or sorry, the Vegas game, but I was against you in the uh, Kings and uh, Vancouver. Let's go, Red Wings. We'll be talking about them soon. Good day, yesterday, Vegas and Kings money pro under, and the parlay hit again. Yes, yes, it did. Mom. Uh, good job yesterday. I'm leading Red Wings as well. Okay, we'll talk about them soon. I also played the draw both games yesterday, made for another profitable day. Having a good week. Yes. Ever since uh, ever since Friday, uh, which I had my best night of the season. Uh, it's been uh, winning days ever since. So hoping to keep this going here. Both game under, one game draw. There you go. The world doesn't make sense if the Jets win today. Well, that's kind of a big statement. We'll be we'll be talking about them. Don't worry. Orioles run line opening day plus one fifteen. Uh, not an Orioles fan, Owen, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Rocco, how's it going? What up, Terry? I had to come and say what up on this glorious day of an NHL slate. It is beautiful for sure. What's up, Terry? Two and two. Let's go. There you go. I got Ovi, Juan Kenobi, and Keller anytime goal parlay. Ooh, interesting. Uh, thanks to someone who uh, posted Hronik uh, under half a point yesterday. Thanks. And that was Captain Bry. Hronik uh, under hits. I cashed with him in a parlay. He had six shots in goal. Wow. But uh, he didn't get a point. And that is right here is why the show is called Getting Wild with Terry and Friends. Because my friends in the chat, uh, everyone viewing, uh, I consider a friend. Uh, throws out winners. So it's not just me that gives out winners on the show. It's the commenters in the live chat uh, that do as well. So that's just awesome. Uh, hello, Dallas plays today. Yes, they do, Addison. And am I going to get to live bet the second period this time? Or are they going to score right away like they did uh, the other day? And I will be on the Ice Guys Betcast. I'll also be on the Ice Guys uh, Daily Show here at 2 p.m. Uh, then I'll be on the BetCast as well. So I'm looking forward to some good uh, live betting spots uh, on the Ice Guys BetCast tonight. Today is a great day for player props. It always is. Uh, sprinkle lotto ticket of player. Parlay of props. There you go. Someone Hulk smashed like and now it's broken. Oh, no. Well, Nick, as a moderator, go and fix that. That's your job. Fix the like button. Olvi Keller, Forsberg, anytime go goal parlay. Uh, hey. I cannot talk you off that. Um, I know Forsberg scored in his last game. I know he's been on a point heater. I've not exactly checked his goals uh, streak, but I want to surprise me. Uh, the Hall of uh, HOG was hungry, but couldn't get one yesterday. The Hog. Yeah, Besser always uh, a Hoglander. 
Besser always scores against the Kings. Interesting. I didn't know that. Great hit on the draw uh, in Vegas, St. Louis. Uh, thanks to Sad. Yeah. Well, I guess I should thank him. What's up, Terry? Let's have another green day. Yes, let's do it. And we will start by jumping right into the very first game of the day here, uh, which is between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Carolina, minus 180 to minus 190. Uh, Pittsburgh, plus 155 to plus 165. Sixes and six and a halves, uh, depending on what you are looking at uh, for the total. Uh, here in this game, looking at goaltenders, uh, nobody confirmed for Carolina yet. Uh, Alex Nedeljkovic uh, likely to start here uh, for uh, Pittsburgh. And um, uh, he allowed four goals and 25 shots against the Avalanche in a 4-5 uh, overtime loss uh, in his last game. So I'm kind of surprised uh, that they um, are going back to Nedeljkovic here. Uh, and as I said, nobody confirmed yet for Carolina. How are these two teams doing recently? Carolina, 9-1-1 one, and one in their last 11 games. Uh, three have gone under, three have gone over. So this Canes team, when it comes to the total, is kind of up and down. Um, three of their last six games going overtime. Pittsburgh, 2-6-2 two, and two in, the last, in their last 10. Five overs, uh, no unders, one game finished with six goals. They, of course, went to overtime in their last game. Carolina, 11-2-1 in the last 14 games between these teams. Five of the last nine have gone to overtime. Um, one over, five unders, one game uh, finished with six goals uh, between these two teams. And I don't have the draw yet in this game. Uh, but with both teams going to overtime a lot recently, and of course the heavy overtime history in the past, I'm going to end up getting onto the draw here in this one. Um, the only thing that would scare me about that is Pittsburgh returning home. They had that tough game against Colorado where they just they came out so strong in the first period uh, and looked like they were going to upset the Avalanche. But then the Avalanche does what the Avalanche do, and that is turn it on as the game goes on. Uh, and they got that comeback. So for me here in this one, this game either goes to overtime or Carolina smashes Pittsburgh. Uh, so maybe I'll sprinkle on the Kings puck line as well, as um, as Owen was saying there in the chat. But for me here in this game, two plays, Seth Darvis anytime goal, plus 220. Yes, he didn't score in his last game, but it was inches away, inches away on the empty net uh, from going in. Uh, and then I'm taking Jake Gensel over one and a half points, plus 170. Gensel facing his former team. Uh, gets to face his former team in Pittsburgh here. Instead of the goal prop, I'm going with over one and a half points. Gensel's been assisting a lot recently. Won't surprise me if he does find the back of the net here in this one, uh, but I'm going to take him over one and a half points, which goes nicely with Seth Jarvis, uh, anytime goal. Uh, so we will um, back these two here uh, in this game, and I'm going to sprinkle on the draw, uh, but. Won't be surprised if uh, Carolina takes care of business here in this game. Uh, we will go up. LOL at Earl. Yep. Uh, Philip Forsberg, anytime goal, 70% and last 10. There you go. Thanks, Tommy. Gensel goal, plus 140. You could go that way. Uh, Kane's first period, uh, puck line, uh, and, and Kane's minus one. Kane's smash spot should be minus 210 range. All right. All right. Robert says Kane's minus two and a half. So he says they're going to just take care of business here. And I could see that. I could see that. Um, Kane's. Yep, they should win here for sure. Gensel goal parlayed with Carolina money line. All right. All right. I want to play Kane's puck line, but couldn't get there. Seth Jarvis anytime goal. I agree. I agree. Can hockey uh, playoffs just be here already? Coming soon. Coming soon. Uh, add team total to that. Kane's team total over? Yeah, you could do that. You could do that. Uh, I'm so ready for it. Yes, so am I. Super excited, even though the Wild won't be there this year. Uh, but even if the Wild were going to make it, they'd win game three and that's it and be done in the first round. So at least I don't have to be disappointed there. Uh, Deltovich, a former Kane. 
There you go. Uh, Gensel hat trick plus 3,400. That would be just a nice, uh, a nice storybook uh, story here, but I don't know if that happens. But hey, if he does, I will be happy for sure. Oh, yeah, he's a former Kane. Yes, maybe that's why he's starting. Gensel Ajo Jarvis continue to buzz. I agree. Bunting plus 275 used to play on the Canes. There you go. You could go uh, with him as well. Uh, and Rocco's on the draw and Gensel two plus points. Pittsburgh's been horrid, uh, obviously, but this looks like a strange spot. Pittsburgh has a tough, uh, has been a tough place for Carolina to pull away. Okay. I agree. Yeah, they've um, lots of close games between those teams. Gensel point. Unfortunately, Gensel over half a point isn't really available at many spots. So, spoil alert, he's not in the parlay of the day today. Um, just because, yes, there's a few books you can get him for half a point, uh, but I would rather everyone be able to get it. So, um, for me, it's two plus points, plus 170. Uh, I think he uh, takes care of business here. Gensel, two plus, yeah, plus 170. Uh, I feel the same way as Terry with Gensel. He's so back and forth uh, with how he gets involved. Yeah. A lot of assists, so I'll go with uh, over one and a half points here. Miss Letty says, you know something we don't with Gensel Hattrick? Hey, hope he's right. Bad spot for Pittsburgh. Do you think we all need to worry about the Carolina collapse in this one? We'll see. If they do, then it probably goes to overtime. What about McKinnon Hattrick? Um, one thing about Nathan McKinnon today, the best price I could find is minus 135 for him to score. So that's just... I can't, I can't do that, but yeah, it's just, he's really priced, uh, like it's, he's the worst, worst goal score price of the night for sure. A minus 135. Kane, same game parlay, Gensel over to two and a half shots and goal, Ajo assist, Jarvis point, plus 295. I like it. I like it. Um, Miss Letty, year of the hat trick, 102 so far this season, someone's getting one. Yeah. And as I said, I'll be on the Ice Guys bet cast tonight. And I may very well look to lie bet uh, hat tricks tonight. Uh, if we get guys with two um, tonight, I'll be looking to lie bet hat tricks. Yeah, I'm feeling McKinnon. Hey, there you go. Uh, Painter Life says no one's getting one tonight. Okay. Forgot to mention check team lineups prior to puck drop. Some teams like Florida uh, Rangers will, etc., will scratch stars for rest. Other teams calling out prospects. Interesting. Um. I didn't know that uh, that that was going to happen. We'll see. Canes on Ho Jarvis Gensel point uh, same game parlay uh, boosted on bet three six five two plus two eighty six. There you go. There you go. Brady Shea point uh, plus one fifteen. Interesting. That's a good price. Uh, hey Uh are you joining the betcast tonight? Yes, I am. I'll be there, and I'll be on the Ice Guys show in about an hour and ten minutes as well. So we better hurry this along uh, and go on to our second game of the night, which is between the Philadelphia Flyers and the New York Rangers. Philadelphia, um, plus 150 to plus 165. Rangers, minus 176 to minus 200. And we got to go back to this game because I just realized I forgot to mention uh, player props other than these two players. Uh, Martin Hs at least three shots on goal in 15 of his last 17 games. Sebastian Ajo, a point in 10 of his last 12. Gensel, a point in 6 of his last 7. Jarvis, a goal in 7 of his last 9. For Pittsburgh, Sidney Crosby, an assist in 5 of his last 6 games. Brian Rust, a goal in 4 of his last 6. And as Robert mentioned, Michael Bunting, not only used to play for the Canes, but he's got a point in 4 of his last 5 games. So he's playing well recently. Um, I probably should uh, add him for a point as well. But back to this game here, uh, sixes and five and a halves, uh, depending on what you're looking at for the total here. Uh, confirmed goaltenders, Igor Shosturkin will start for the Rangers and um, and um, Samuel Erson uh, continues to start here uh, for the Flyers. How are these two teams doing recently? Philadelphia, three, four, and one in their last eight, three games in a row under five and a half. The Rangers, seven and two in their last nine. Five overs, no unders. Uh, one game finished with six goals. The Rangers have won uh, their 9-0-1 in the last 10 games between these teams. Three of the last seven have gone to overtime. 
uh, and five of the last six have gone under five and a half. So Rangers get the win, but sometimes we have close games that go to overtime, and recently a lot of low-scoring games when these two teams face each other. Uh, for me, it's Adam Fox over half an assist, uh, minus 110. Uh, here in this one, he's got uh, an assist in six games in a row, a point of 11 of his last 13. Chris Kreider's got a point, seven of his last 10. Mika Zabanajad has a point in five of his last six. Uh, Vincent Trocek a point in 15 of his last 18. Artemi Panarin a point in 14 of his last 18. Alexis Lafreniere a point in five of his last six. That is why Rangers games are going over, uh, because there are players all over the place that are uh, on streaks right now, playing really well for the Rangers. For the Flyers, Konechny, Tippett, Frost, all didn't get a point in their last game. Uh, but Konechny, point and three shots on goal in 12 of his last 16. Tippett and Frost both have a point in six of their last seven. Uh, so you could look at them here. But with so many different spots on the slate today, I'm just going to stick with Fox assist in this one. Uh, and then can't really bet uh, side or total here. Uh, as I believe the Rangers win. Don't like to bet Flyers games when it comes to side or total. and. Don't want to take in regulation or puck line, so um, no real thoughts here. So Shesterkin Shur save total in play versus high volume Philly. There you go. As a Banajad goal plus two hundred. Yeah, he does got one in three of his last five games, so that's a good look. Uh, Philly and draw. All right, all right. Panger Life says Rangers puck line. Okay. Tricky spot. I feel Rangers should win, but Flyers can present problems. Yeah, that's why. For me, Fox assist. That's what I'll go with in this one. Flyers are pass and Nick's passing. Nothing wrong with that. Under five and a half and Fox assist. I like it. The only thing that scares me with under five and a half is the way the Rangers offense has been. Um, five and a half is such a low number. But if Philadelphia scores one in this game, I could see the game going under. A uh, check in Fox, uh, anytime point parley pieces. I like it. Flyers plus 167, they could win. Maybe. Panera going for 100 points tonight. Ah, thanks, Lots. Uh, so he's going for number 100. I think he gets there. Uh, Pasta and Panera going for 100 points tonight. Oh, Pasta as well. Okay, interesting. Uh, game under. Well, I could see it. I could. Uh, just have a poke on the draw. Yeah. I'm not going to end up getting to the draw on this one, but I could see... Uh, why people would want to, yeah. Um, we'll move on along to our third game. Uh, speaking of Pasternak, um, Pasternak and the Boston Bruins head to Florida to face the Panthers. Boston, plus 110 to plus 124. Florida, minus 130 to minus 135. Six is right across the board. It looks like FanDuel has a five and a half, uh, if you were looking at the over uh, in this one. Uh, goaltenders, Jeremy Swayman confirmed for Boston. Uh, Sergei Bobrovsky confirmed for uh, Columbus. Or Columbus. He used to play for Columbus, uh, for Florida. Um, Panthers um, broke their four-game losing streak thanks to a, a good performance by Anthony Storlars. Now Bobrovsky comes back in. He's given up four more goals uh, and uh, four. He's allowed three or more goals in four games in a row. Uh, so he's been uh, not so sharp recently. Uh, Swayman, he's given up three or more goals in three games in a row. So he's also not exactly playing well here uh, recently. How do these two teams play recently and against each other? Uh, Boston, three and three in their last six, three of their last four going over, six and a half. Florida, one, three and one in their last five, uh, three of their last five games going under five and a half. Boston 4, 1, and 2 in the last seven between these teams. Three of the last five going to overtime. Back-to-back -back games under five and a half here in this one. And this is going to sound familiar. Uh, people that have watched the show um, all season long uh, will remember this bet. We're going back to him here. Give us Sam Reinhart anytime goal. Um, he's been a moneymaker for us all year long. Um, recently. Not as consistent as he was earlier on in the year, uh, but he does have a goal uh, in three of his last six games. Uh, scored in his last game, 
And that's where I'm going to go here is uh, Reinhardt anytime goal. Uh, he's got a point five of his last seven, a goal in three of his last six. Matthew Kachuk, uh, at least four shots in goal in four of his last seven, a point in four of his last seven. Pasternak and Zaka um, have gone cold here last couple of games. Uh, Pasternak a point in nine of his last 13. Zaka a point in eight of his last 10. Jake DeBrusque has a point in eight of his last 10. And Brad Marchand has a point in six of his last 10. Just Reinhardt goal for me in this one. Uh, playing um, playing just a small amount here in this game. Uh, just this one play. Um, much more games I like uh, other games on the slate much better. So, yeah. Um, go up here. Pasta. Yeah, we'll see if he can get it going uh, tonight. P's money line. They own Boston. Remember the playoffs? Yes, but both meetings this year, I believe Boston has won, and Boston is kind of have their number more recently. So we'll see here. Draw. All right, all right. Putting my house, car, and savings on the Bruins. Okay. Interesting. Sprinkle draw? Yes. Uh, let's back on Reinhardt today. Yes, sir. We are back on him. Why don't... Uh, why or wow don't do it uh you say uh, give me uh florida all right pasternak first goal okay that you could get some good value there reinhardt goal plus 120 yeah obviously shop around uh, and get the best price you can i got plus 160 for him pasternak and panera anytime point parlay minus 112 that's interesting with both trying to get to 100 i could see that i could uh like him to score multiple goal games in two of the last four yes Starting to heat up, so we'll take him here. Barkov back in the lineup for the Panthers tonight. Yes, and so is Forsling, I believe. So two um, big additions here for Florida. Uh, at this price, lean Bruins. Yeah. Barky back, centering Rodriguez and Tarasenko. Oh, that's an interesting uh, interesting line. You going to get wild and take Reinhardt to score first? Alex Cash that bargain last game. Uh, we'll just take him to score here. Not going to, uh, not going to get wild there, but hey, Swayman confirmed. I like the peas even more. Rhino still skating with the two fins. Okay. Okay. Uh, past, uh, was that the tennis match yesterday? Uh, you know, was 12 beers deep. Okay. Uh, Forsling and Barkov are back. Yes. Uh, Reinhardt, uh, get back in my life. Uh, yes, he's back. I kind of think Hyman Reinhardt play a little looser after hitting 50. Thoughts? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think, especially with the way Florida has been going recently, I don't think Sam Reinhardt's going to then be thinking that, oh, I got 50. I'm good now. I don't, I don't think so whatsoever. Um, and then Edmonton kind of same story there and, We'll be talking about them later on here. Um, but I did mention, um, yes, I did mention player props. This one, so we will move on along to our next game, and this one's a really important game for both teams. Uh, Detroit Red Wings, Washington Capitals. The Red Wings plus 105 to plus 110. Washington minus 118 to minus 125. Sixes right across the board in this game. Alex Lyon against Charlie Lindgren uh, here. Both goalies uh, coming off a really good game. Um, Lindgren was excellent in the 3 nothing shutout uh, against Winnipeg, where the Jets did try, uh, but they just were unable to solve Charlie Lindgren. Uh, Alex Lyon um, stopped 31 of 32 uh, shots against Nashville, but uh, Detroit did end up losing that game. Heartbreaker for them uh, with the Preds scoring right at the end there. Uh, but Alex Lyon, who had been very bad, um, had a very good game. And now he comes here to face Washington. How did these two teams do recently and against each other? Detroit's three and two in their last five, three of their last four going over six and a half. Washington, five and one in their last six, three of their last four going over six and a half. Uh, Detroit 3-0-1 in the last four meetings, five of the last seven going under five and a half. So we've got uh, 
a lot of lower scoring games when these two teams face each other. Uh, and for me here in this game, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, give us Alex Ovechkin anytime goal, plus 125, and Connor McMichael over half a point, plus 105 here in this game. Not taking any Red Wings props. Um, I watched that game with Washington uh, and Winnipeg uh, and Charlie Lindgren. Um, just n- obviously, he did. He has had some rough games as well. Uh, but uh, just watching that game, he's just not somebody that I want to bet a bunch of props against. Uh, I do lean Washington in this game. Don't love the price. Um, I do think, unfortunately for Islanders fans, I think this could go to overtime. Uh, this just has that feeling of an overtime game, uh, but uh, I will, not on a draw right now. But we'll take Ovechkin and McMichael because uh, Ovechkin, a goal in five games in a row. Connor McMichael, a point in six of his last seven. Dylan Strom has an assist in four games in a row. Uh, so you could look at Dylan Strom as well. For the Red Wings, Shane Gostas Bear, a point in 13 of his last 16. I have seen his point prop around plus 140, I believe. So I may get to Gostas Bear if there is one prop I'm going to play just because. Point in 13 of his last 16 games. That's an excellent price, but haven't got to it yet. Dylan Larkin, a point in three of his last five. Lucas Raymond and Patrick Kane both have points in six of their last seven. Kane, an assist in four of his last seven. Raymond, a goal in five of his last seven. Patrick Kane has at least three shots in goal in eight of his last nine games. So he's been consistent for the Red Wings. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Uh, game under two for Florida Boston. All right. All right. Uh, caps or nothing. McMichael point is plus money. Yes. Uh, Red Wings hammer. Interesting. Okay. Ovechkin anytime goal. McMichael, McMichael point. Yes. Me and Captain Bry um, in agreement a lot. Kane shoot, uh, shootout. I think he'll get a shootout winner. Uh, what a surprise me. Or shots over. Shots over, yeah. I can see that as well. To break that goal, plus 225. Uh, Nick is saying the draw with four locks, uh, hoping to jinx it so that uh, his Islanders can catch up. Uh, best of luck, Nick. Uh, love that play, Terry, Ovi, uh, and Connor McMichael. Yes. Uh, also like uh, Johnny Carlson over a point and two and a half shot, over two and a half shots. All right, yeah. He was good. Absolutely excellent in the last game. And um, he's a big reason why Washington is hanging in there. Strom with assist in four straight um, with one game having three, plus 125 for an assist. Uh, I should probably add him. I probably should. Carlson, a point seven of his last 10. Okay, okay. Strom assist. You know what? Let me write it down. Let me write it down so I don't forget. Strom assist. All right, so I will bet that after the show because I don't want to forget. Yeah, um, that's a great price, plus 125, and he's been doing it, so let's go. I'll jump on it. Um, Carlson, power play point in four of his last five. Haven't had much luck with power play points, so not going to go there, especially with today, a big slate. Kane shots on goal over. Yeah, he has been consistent. At least three shots in eight of his last nine, so I can see uh, why you like that. Hi, Terry. How are you? Good, Brandon. Uh, how are you? Uh, but we will jump into the next game, uh, which is between the New Jersey Devils and the Boston Bruins. New Jersey, plus 120 to plus 128. Toronto, minus 140 to minus 148. Uh, six and a half right across the board here in this one. Uh, looking at goaltenders here, uh, Joseph Wall confirmed for Toronto. Jake Allen, likely for New Jersey. Capo Kakinen got a shutout in his last game. Who saw that coming? Uh, but it looks like Jake Allen will be starting here for Montreal. Or for Montreal. <laughs> see, see, that's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, but yeah, he doesn't play for Montreal anymore. He plays for New Jersey now. Uh, but he'll likely start here in this game. Joseph Wall shot 41 to 43 shots against Carolina and just played fantastic. He's the reason why um, the Canes puck line didn't get there uh, and the over didn't get there. 
Um, big reason is because of uh, Joseph Wall in his last game. Now they get to face New Jersey here. How are these two teams doing recently? Uh, the Devils three and one in their last four, four of their last six games going under five and a half. Toronto two two and one in their last five, uh, five of their last six games going over six and a half. Toronto ten zero oh, and one in the last eleven games between these teams, seven overs, three unders, one game finished with six goals. So usually um, we see some high scoring games with Toronto um, beating the Devils. And for me here in this one, William Nylander, anytime goal, plus 115. That's it for me here uh, in this game. Not going to go crazy here in this one. Uh, we'll just go with Nylander. Goal on five of his last six. Didn't score in his last game, but we'll go back to him here. Um, Nico Hishier, point, nine of his last 14, at least three shots on goal in 11 of his last 14. Timo Meyer, a goal in nine of his last 13. When I bet him, he doesn't score. When I don't bet him, he scores. So what's going to happen tonight? Timo Meyer is scoring. Book it. Uh, Jack Hughes, a point in 11 of his last 15. Uh, Matthews has two or more points in four of his last six. Bertuzzi, a goal in three of his last five. As I said, Nylander, a goal in five of his last six. At least three shots on goal in 13 of his last 14. Uh, so Nylander is getting at least three shots on goal, finding the back of the net. Tavares, a uh, goal in four of his last seven, two or more points in four of his last five. Uh, he's been playing very well uh, for Toronto uh, as well. Uh, uh, here. Get wild here. Strom Apple, McMichael Point, Ovi Goal, Carson uh, over shots and points. Yes, I'm adding Strom, but not Carlson. Not Carlson. Sorry, Carlson. Um, Devil's money line, least play down to competition. Interesting. Okay. Over six and a half. I could see it. But with how with both goalies, I could also see a lower scoring game. Hughes and Matthews, uh, shot ladder. You could go that way, I guess. Uh, Nylander, anytime goal. I like it. Uh, Nick likes the Leafs, minus one. I can see why. A uh, few players from Toronto out last night. Uh oh. That's not good. Uh, not good to hear. Uh, no way Nico Heischer is 100% after that Charlie Horace knee on knee hit last game. I didn't see it, but, yeah, that doesn't sound good. Uh, so, yeah, maybe stay off him. Uh, Max Domi point can go Domi Apple, Austin goal, or vice versa. Austin goal, Domi goal. Or Austin assist, Domi goal. All right, best of luck. Austin has been dishing the puck lately, still hitting a shot line. Yeah, maybe he's not really trying to get to 70, I guess. Um, let's smash this. Uh, ish today, Terry. Good luck, y'all. And thank you, Terry, for the show. Uh, no problem, Stop Geo. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And thanks for all the nice comments I've got. I've got a lot of comments saying uh, how much people love the show. So um, that always makes me happy to hear. So I appreciate it, guys. Matthew's sitting on 58. Uh, Nylander's sitting on 39. Well, I hope Nylander gets to 40 tonight. Hughes, 69 points, 24 goals. All right. So his 25th could get him to 70. Awesome. I parlayed McKinnon four shots, Matthew four shots, minus 104 in FanDuel. Both of these lines are cashing an 80% clip for these guys in their last 10 games. I can see it. Best of luck. Best of luck. Uh, but we'll move on along to the next game. Uh, and this is a game that uh, I bet last night. Um, and I'm glad that I bet it last night. Uh, we got the Vegas Golden Knights against the Nashville Predators. Vegas plus 120 to plus 125. Nashville, minus 138 to minus 148. Uh, sixes right across the board. It looks like bet 99 has a six and a half uh, here in this game. Refresh on goalies because I've been waiting to hear about who's going to be in net for Vegas, and there's still no news. Uh, UC Soros likely for Nashville. Logan Thompson started for, Nash uh, for Nashville for Vegas yesterday. Uh, so it should be uh, Yuri Patera here in this game. And um, he's not uh, had a, a very good season when he's played here for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. But you also have to look at who he's faced. Uh, he's had it rough. Uh, his very first start was against San Jose. He gave up four goals and he got his only win. 5-4 shootout win. 
uh, against San Jose uh, was his uh, one win that he's got. Then he goes and um, plays one period against Carolina, stopped all 10 shots. Uh, so his only good appearance. Then he goes and loses to Tampa Bay, Florida, and Colorado, giving up five, four, and three goals. So um, he's been giving up goals and most of his starts. Has it been confirmed? Could they go back to Thompson here? Would it completely shock me? Uh, just with the fact that uh, Thompson's played very well uh, his last few games. And um, Vegas, this is an important game uh, for Vegas. Uh, a win here, and that puts them in a really good uh, position uh, to make a playoff spot even better than they already are currently uh, here. So we'll see who's in net uh, officially. Uh, how are these two teams doing recently? Vegas 6-2 and two in their last eight, heating up. One over, four unders, one game finished with six goals. Nashville, 15-0-2 in their last 17 games. Consistent. Three of their last four games under five and a half. Vegas has had success against the Preds, 4-1-1 one one in the last six meetings. Three overs, two unders, one game uh, finished with six goals. I did bet Nashville money line yesterday. I got it for minus 125. Now it's minus 138 to minus 148. So at this point, um, I would not bet Nashville money line by itself, but stay tuned to later on and we might discuss uh, more about Nashville money line later on in the show. Uh, here for this game, Forsberg over half a point, Yossi over half a point, Nyquist over half a point, plus 250, same game parlay at Bet365. Why am I doing this? Well, I was on this last game when Nashville won one nothing, and who are the three players that got points? Those three. Uh, those three guys have been just consistent, uh, as consistent as the Predators have been. Uh, Yossi a point in 12 of his last 14. Forsberg a point in 13 of his last 14. Gustav Nyquist a point in 11 of his last 14. For Vegas, Eichel, uh, three or more shots in 16 of his last 17 games. Didn't get a point yesterday. He's got a point in six of his last eight. And then Shea Theodore, an assist in seven of his last eight and 13 of his last 16. And yes, we are still taking Shea Theodore. Uh, over half assist, plus 150. Plus 100 yesterday, plus 150 today. I get it, Nashville's playing very well, uh, and they have very good goaltending. And they're getting very, very good goaltending from both goalies. But plus 150, uh, have to take it. Have to take it here. Uh, it's just excellent price for uh, Shea Theodore, who, as I said, an assist in seven of his last eight, 13 of his last 16, plus 150. Sign me up here for this one. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, if he wants 70, it's wide open, every power play, but uh, he needs to be more of a facilitator. There you go. And yeah, you know what? Matthews, yeah, 70 goals would be nice. But his focus should be helping the Leafs go on a long playoff run because that's what's most important uh, in Toronto. Preds, yes, Preds. Vegas, uh, Nashville under six. Preds have held points to two or less goals, eight of ten games. Watch last two Vegas games. They're playing tough defense. I agree. I could very well be a very low-scoring game again. But if Yuri Patera is in, that would scare me. That would scare me. Uh, Nashville money line. I like it. Just don't like the price as much now. Two weeks ago, and he's been passing every game since. Yeah, there we go. So working on uh, his assists. Uh, same game parlay, plus 275. Nyquist over one and a half shots and goal. Go see assist, Forsberg point. I like it. A little bit different than mine, but uh, I like it. Vegas uh, Gold Knights money line. This line is wide. Wow. Interesting, Robert. Interesting. Uh, you better hope it's not Patera. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you better hope it's not Patera. You'll see assist five of the last six, even money for an assist tonight. There you go. And Nyquist points minus 125. So some good uh props there. I'm going to stick with the same game parlay just because this could be a low scoring game, as we've heard from other people. 
most likely Patera. I hope so. Does anyone like Bruins versus Florida? First period tie. Um, we haven't really talked about that, but I could see that. That's interesting. First period tie. You'll see assist. Uh, Juan likes that. Uh, Nathan McKinnon, two goals. Yeah, you mentioned him. You like him tonight. So hopefully he gets there. Most likely third goalie, yeah, Yuri Patera. Hopefully. Line will move after Vegas goalie confirmation uh, and has already been moving because sharp betters know. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, Preds money line minus 128 last night. Keep riding. Theodore assist. Eichel shots. I like it. Never mind, Tommy. Got it. Okay. Come on, Preds. Get them out of the playoffs. Yeah, I know a lot of people want that to happen, but uh, for me, I'd rather see Vegas there than St. Louis. I do not want to. The last thing I wanted to see is St. Louis make it. Sorry to any St. Louis fans, but as a Wild fan, I just despise the Blues. Uh, so that's just my thoughts. But that parlay hits last game. Yeah, I did. That's why we're going back to it here. That's why I'm not leaning Preds. They need three guys to score while Vegas has four lines deep. Interesting. I uh, I just could not go against the Nashville Predators. I won't do it, especially on a, for a team that's on a back-to-back, having to travel, and most likely will have their third goalie in. Uh, I can't do it. A good call, Theodore Sis plus 150 today. Yes, we're on it. Under this is playoff-style hockey, third string or not. Okay, okay. Pass, everyone is fading Patera hard, and Vegas is on an uptick. Uh, they can't beat strong opponents in rank. There you go. Uh, Forsberg, uh, anytime goal. And I F and love uh, Pantera. There you go. There you go. But we will move on along to our next game here, which is between the Edmonton Oilers and Winnipeg Jets. Edmonton, minus 120 to minus 125. Winnipeg, plus 100 to plus 109. Sixes, looks like there is a six and a half uh, available here. Uh, how are these two teams doing recently? Edmonton, 2-2-1 two, two in their last five. Uh, Winnipeg's lost three games in a row. Uh, Edmonton, four of their last six, over six and a half. Winnipeg, two overs, two unders, three games uh, finished with six goals. Uh, it does look like it is going to be Connor Hellebuck against Stuart Skinner, both likely uh, here in this game. Uh, Edmonton, four, two, and one in the last seven between these teams, three of the last five. Uh, going under five and a half. Edmonton just got their butt kicked by Toronto and then Ottawa in back-to-back games. This Winnipeg team um, has lost three games in a row uh, on their road trip, and now they're back home. Uh, One day off, and they're back home. Give me the Oilers uh, to bounce back here tonight. Uh, Oilers money line minus 120, and give me Evan Bouchard over half an assist, minus 105. Why are we taking Bouchard? Uh, well, because he's got an assist in seven games in a row, and we've been on him for like three or four. So uh, you don't just jump off a streak unless there's a very good reason to, uh, and uh, there just isn't for me uh, in this one. McDavid has an assist in 19 of his last 21 games. Leon Dreisaitl a point in 10 of his last 12. Zach Hyman is heating up again, a goal in four of his last six. For the Winnipeg Jets, uh, Nikolai Ehlers, a point in four of his last six. Kyle Connor, at least three shots on goal in eight of his last 11. Mark Scheifele, a point in nine of 12. Tyler Toffoli, a point in three of six. So Winnipeg um, struggling to score recently too. Um, with with Rick Bonus um, dealing with his health issue, uh, this Jets team has uh, not looked good whatsoever. Uh, and um, was so good at bouncing back, uh, but have not done that. Uh, so now first game home after their five-game road trip, uh, give me the Oilers here uh, to take care of business and uh, Bouchard assist here in this game. Evan Bouchard assist. Bouchard assist. Yep, yep. Uh, McDavid over one and a half apples. Bouchard assist. I like it. Uh, taking notes. Hey, Rio Blue Prime. Um, how's it going? And um, I want the Oilers to destroy the Jets bad. Yeah, me too. Obviously, being on Oilers' money line. Um, the Winnipeg Jets have lost all three games by three goals. So you want to sprinkle on uh, Oilers' puck line here? You could do that as well. 
Vegas line is not wide. Predators line is short. Predators on two days rest, second home game. Uh, Preds any way you want it to bet it, the best bet of the entire card. Uh, I can't disagree, Jay, Jay Stone. I can't disagree. Um, I just I, – it's going to sound weird as a Wild fan saying this, but I love the Preds. Uh, they're just so consistent. And when you when you are a sports better, especially someone that bets streaks, you want consistency. Uh, and that's what they've given me. Um, we'll move on to this next game, which I'll be very nice and quick with. Uh, Calgary minus 170 to minus 175. Chicago plus 142 to plus 153. Sixes right across the board. Uh, pass. Uh, two games on the slate that I'm passing, and this is one of them. So many other better spots in the slate to bet. Um, at this price, it could be Chicago or nothing, and it's nothing uh, for me here. And this one, looking up uh, how these teams have done recently, Calgary's lost six of their last eight. Chicago is four and three in their last seven, but they've been beating bums. Uh, Calgary's gone over recently, four, two, and one in their last six. Chicago's gone over in five of their last seven. Chicago is four and one in the last five between these teams. Six overs, one under, two games finished with six goals. So we could uh, we could see goals in this game. Uh, we could see Chicago win, but uh, I'm just not interested. Not interested. Igor Sharangovich has an assist in three of his last five. Nazem Kadri at least four shots on goal in four of his last five. But Dard has at least three shots on goal in seven of his last eight. An assist in five of his last seven. Philip Kershev has an assist in five of his last seven. And Ryan Donato on the fourth line has at least three shots in goal in eight of his last ten games. So on the fourth line, not getting much ice time. But when he is on the ice, he shoots the puck. Uh, So that's uh, Ryan Donato. Uh, Flames puck line. All right. Pass. All right. What do you think about Carolina money line? Uh, well, I do like Carolina, but stay tuned to the end of the show and you'll you'll hear more about that. This is actually a good spot to take Chicago seriously. I don't uh, I don't disagree, but can't do it. Can't do it. Bernard has more goals than Jack Hughes. Didn't see that coming. Neither did I. That's interesting. I guess Hughes has been more of an assister this year. Um, but we will move on to the next game. Four games left, and then the parlay of the day. Uh, our next game here, which is between the... Oops, I just realized that there is a page missing here. Okay, that explains that explains things. Thank you, StreamYard, as always, for deleting a background. Uh, thanks a lot. I thought I checked, but I must have missed that one. Okay, here we go. Montreal, uh, plus 325 to plus 346. Colorado, minus 400 to minus 450. Six and a half right across the board. And we reached my favorite game of the night here in this one. Uh, how are... Oh, let's check goalies first. Let's check goalies first. Oh, Justice Annanen. Okay. Uh, Justice Annanen likely for... Sorry, confirmed now uh, for Colorado. Uh, Samuel Montembeau unconfirmed uh, for Montreal. How are these two teams doing recently? Uh, Montreal, 2-2-2 two, two, and two in their last six, so kind of all over the place. Uh, one over, three unders, one game, finished with six goals. Two of their last five games going overtime. Colorado, 11-1 and one in their last 12 games. Five of their last six games going over, six and a half. Four of their last seven games going overtime. Colorado 7-2 and two in the last nine games between these teams. Back-to-back games over 6.5, including the first meeting this year, which was a 4-3 win by Montreal in Colorado. For me here, give me the over 6.5, minus 115, and give me the draw, plus 500 on FanDuel in this game. Um, this is going to play out one of two ways. Uh, this game is going to go to overtime or Colorado is going to kick butt. Uh, that's what I see here in this game. Um, we've seen both teams go to overtime a lot recently, and plus 500 is just way too good to pass up. So I am taking it here. Uh, and player props. 
player props. Give me Jonathan Druin over one and a half points plus 340. Give me your give me your Slavkovsky over half a point plus 100. And give me Alex Newhook over half a point plus 130. Jonathan Druin over one and a half points plus 340 is one of my favorite bets of the night. Why? Yes, he's facing his former team, but he has also been on a heater. Uh, he's got an a point. Uh, he's got sorry, he's got a, a point or an assist in four games in a row, six of his last eight. So he's getting a ton of assists recently. He's got three games in a row with multiple points. So he's coming in here already having multiple point games. Now he gets to face his former team at home here. Uh, also his hometown team. Give me Druin over one and a half points plus 340. Uh, Yuri Slavkovsky, why am I taking him? Well, he's got a point in seven games in a row, and we've been backing him game after game, so not jumping off now. Now, Alex Newhook did not exactly look. I know he was really hot there for a while, kind of slowed down here, but facing his former team, plus 130, will take him for a point as well uh, here in this game. Cole Caulfield has at least four shots in goal in 14 of his last 18 games. Nathan McKinnon, a point in 18 games in a row. Every single home game, he has a point this season. Four shots in goal in 18 of his last 22. A goal in nine of his last 12. I was intending on betting it, but I'm not uh, betting a goal scoring prop at minus 135. I'm just not doing it. Just not doing it. Mikko Rantanen assist in 12 of his last 14 and, and also 14 of his last 19. Valerie Nishushkin, a point, six of his last eight, a goal in six of his last nine. Kale McCarr, an assist in 11 of his last 13. Uh, I do really like uh, McCarr assist uh, as a uh, parlay piece as well here in this game. Uh, we will go up here, scroll up, scroll up. I see Richie laughing. Uh, what's going on with that? Let's see. Um, Chicago was bag skated yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. Kind of interesting after a comeback win, but. Okay, let's go Habs. Oh, yeah, you want the Stars to uh, you want the Stars to take first place. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, laughing, slap point, course, chalk, but McKinnon, uh, Matthews, anytime goal parlay. Okay, well, that should get you to plus money, so I like it. McDavid, Matthews, Mc... uh, McDavid, Matthews, McDavid, anytime goal parlay. McDavid twice. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You must say it's all good. It's all good. Sneaky back and forth game. Colorado for revenge spot, though. Yes. And this is, I'll touch on this. Give me, a, we'll finish the rest of the comments here. I'll touch on that in a second. Hobbs plus one and a half is plus 145. Um, uh, ESPN bet. Okay. Okay. McKinnon, anytime goal, not much value, but still bet it. All right. Jonathan drew an assist. Uh, Uri Slavkovsky point. I like it. Uh, drew in. Um, yes, drew in. Drew an autoplay. Yeah. And I'm sorry that I completely missed him. Uh, have not been going over uh, him uh, lately. I completely missed his prop, but uh, I have it now. Over six and a half. I do. I like that. Uh, McKinnon will be looking for both Drew and Rance tonight. Sounds good. McKinnon under one and a half points is plus 127. Probably going to lose, though. Yeah, I want to go near that. Avs take first in the West. All right. Ranton is sitting on 39. Okay. And this is going to be a game that I'm going to be looking to live bet, live, live bet on the Ice Guys Betcast tonight. How I look at this game is we've seen it multiple games now, where this Colorado team starts off slow. Uh, they're not necessarily starting games off the best, so you could potentially look at Montreal to score first. But this Montreal team is kind of all over the place, so I don't really know what we're going to get from them. What I'm hoping is that Montreal somehow gets off to a 2-0 lead. Uh, that is exactly what I'm hoping for, uh, because then I will live bet Colorado. Instead of getting minus 450, I'll get whatever it happens to be at that time. Uh, and then um, I have the draw plus 500, so I'm not going to live bet the draw, because plus 500 is great for me. Um, but yes, I am looking to live bet Colorado in this game if I'm given the opportunity. Uh, if they start off like they have been normally. Live butt, yeah, live butt. There you go, there you go. But no, 
We'll uh, move on. We've got three games left, and then we've got two parlays of the day. Uh, so this game is definitely one of my favorites here tonight. Um, but so is this one. I know. Wow. How could this possibly be uh, one of my favorite games? But we'll find out here. Uh, Columbus plus 146 to plus one or plus 140 to plus 146. Arizona minus 163 to minus 166. Uh, six and a half right across the board uh, here in this game. Looking at goaltenders uh, for this one, Karel Vigmelka likely. Nobody yet confirmed for Columbus. Uh, let's go here. How are these two teams doing recently? Um, well, Columbus has lost seven of their last eight games. Uh, just not winning games. Uh, three overs, no unders, two games finished with six goals. Arizona, three and two in their last five. One over, four unders, one game finished with six goals. Arizona, four, one and one in the last six between these teams. Two of four going to overtime. Three of the last five games going over six and a half between these teams. Uh, and for me, Clayton Keller, anytime goal, plus 150. And Nick Schmaltz, over half an assist, minus 105. You've heard this before. Um, Clayton Keller, anytime goal. He now has one in uh, six of his last seven games. Uh, Nick Schmaltz, an assist in seven of his last nine. He did have one in the last game before they gave it to Kerfoot instead. Uh, but we'll go back to him here. Um, for Columbus, Johnny Gaudreau has an assist in four of his last six games. So does Zach Wierenski. Uh, Wierenski, three or more shots in six of his last seven. For the Coyotes, uh, Nick Bukestad, who I don't have up here, has a point in five of his last six. Dylan Genther, a point in five of his last seven. And making his debut tonight uh, for the team that his father played for, we have Josh Doan making his NHL debut tonight. And um, just happens to lead uh, the Tucson Roadrunners in the AHL in goals this season. He's been playing very well down in the AHL. Now he's coming up here making his NHL debut against this Columbus Blue Jackets team, and you're going to give me plus 405 Ram to score. Sign me up uh, for Mr. Josh Stone here in this one. I've been waiting, uh, and I will actually check right now. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, March 26th. Okay. Okay. Uh, projected to be on the third line. Uh, with McBain and Michelli. So that's good to have Michelli there. I was really hoping he was going to find himself uh, with Dylan Genther uh, and maybe Logan Cooley on that second line, uh, but that does not appear to be the case. So was going to add Genther point as well, but we'll just stick with Doan, uh, plus 405, and, of course, Keller and Schmaltz, uh, who we continue to bet on uh, here. Columbus money line. This line is way too wide. I disagree. Uh, I think the Yotes, uh, honestly, I think the Yotes win by multiple goals. I think they, the Yotes have a good game here. I think they do. Josh Doan. Yes. Yes. Zach Attack over three and a half shots in goal. Minus 115. All right. All right. Pure dog. Poop game. All right. Keller. Yes. Keller. Keller goal. Schmaltz assist. Yes. The boys will be looking for donor. Absolutely. Yes, I hope so. Michelli, anytime assist. You could go that way. Uh, I guess I'll tail Josh Doan anytime goal. Good luck, Terry. Hey, good luck to both of us. And yeah, you obviously don't put the house on it. Uh, it's a smaller bet, uh, but a plus 405, God, I got a sprinkle um, with how, because it's not just that he's making his NHL, NHL debut, but his NHL debut for the team his dad played for, and he just happens to, Josh Jones just happens to lead his team in goals in the AHL, having a great season. I'll take him. Especially, it's he's facing Columbus. It's not like he's facing Igor Shesterkin in this game. So another reason why I love it. Uh, damn, Yotes are low-key stacked with young talent. Yes, they are getting there. Uh, they are getting there. Uh, Yotes puck line, I agree. I'm not on it, but I agree. Uh, I also lean Yotes puck line, but didn't get there. Completely agree. Completely agree. But two more games left, and then the parlays of the day. 
Um, Anaheim Ducks and the Seattle Kraken. Anaheim plus 170 to plus 181. Seattle minus 200 to minus 210. Five and a half right across the board in this game. Uh, taking a look at goalies, uh, even though I don't believe we have any. Um, yeah, no goalies. As uh, John Gibson listed potentially against Joey Decord in this game. How are these two teams doing recently? Anaheim, 1-7-1 in their last nine. No overs, four unders, two games finished with six goals. So with a total of five and a half, a two, or a two overs, four unders. Seattle has lost eight games in a row, 0-6-2. One over, four under, one game finished with six goals. Seattle, 5-0-1. In the last six between these teams, they've had success recently against the Ducks. But who doesn't have success against the Ducks uh, recently? Uh, five of their last eight games over six and a half um, between these teams. My second pass of the night. Now, if I was getting to something in this game, it would be the Ducks. Uh, this Kraken team is just not playing well. They just cannot score goals. Uh, and I just, they should not be minus 200. Uh, I just think that's crazy. Uh, so if I was going to get to something, it would be the Ducks plus 180. One, it looks like a pinnacle, plus 170 to 75 at other spots. That's what I get to. However, I need to see Lucas Dostal in net. Uh, there's no way I, I would actually pull the trigger on this with uh, Gibson. So stay tuned. Um, we'll discuss it on the BetCast uh, later on tonight, uh, the Ice Guys BetCast, um, if I get to the Ducks or not. It'll obviously determine. Uh, a few things. Looking at player props here, uh, Frank Vertrano, at least five shots on goal in seven of his last eight games. So he continues to get five shots on goal. Uh, Vertrano not getting any points or scoring, but he's shooting the puck. Uh, Jared McCann, at least three shots on goal in five games in a row for the Kraken. Uh, ba -bum -bum -bum. Now this game is dog poop. <laughs> Pass. Pass, pass, incoming, don't do it, Terry. I'm not on the draw, don't worry. Uh, crack an easy bag. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But, hey, we'll see. If I played this game, it would be Frank Vitrano, uh anytime goal, and McCann three plus shots on goal. Parlay. Interesting. If I was going to play, it would be both players' shots on goal. Those two players. That's the only way uh, I would play player props here. Major pass. I agree. I agree. Now on to the next game here, the final game of the night, uh, which is between the Dallas Stars and the San Jose Sharks. Here in this one, Dallas minus 400 to minus 450. San Jose plus 340 to plus 350. Six and a half right across the board here in this one. Goaltenders, uh, Mackenzie Blackwood, Confirmed for San Jose. Nobody confirmed yet for Dallas. Dallas, 9-2 in their last 11. Three overs, one under, two games finished with six goals. San Jose, 1-13-3 in their last 17. Four overs, one under, one game finished with six goals. Dallas, 5-2 in the last seven between these teams. Back-to-back -back game is going overtime for the last five meetings going over six and a half. I do have a side or total play in this game. It is available over on Picks and Parlays. Uh, it's my exclusive play of the day. Link is in the description below. And this will be my last NHL exclusive play of the day on the site. After tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my exclusive play with baseball. Uh, so starting tomorrow's slate, because I'll do basketball for tomorrow. Starting tomorrow's slate, no more exclusive plays for hockey. You get every single one of my hockey plays on the show starting tomorrow. Uh, and then I will have my exclusive plays in baseball uh, for people to purchase. If you do want to purchase this play, 25 bucks on the site. Link is in the description below. If the play loses, you get your money back as store credit. But no, Richie, I'm not on the draw. Don't worry. Yes, back-to-back -back games have gone to overtime, but uh, I'm not on the draw. That's all I can say here. Jamie Ben over half a point, minus 120. Why am I taking that? Because he's got a point in 10 of his last 11 games. Yes, he's on the third line, but it just it doesn't matter. Uh, he's been consistent. Um, Chase Robertson, a point in 10 of his last 12, an assist in 7 of his last 9. 
Ly Johnston, a point in five of his last seven, goal in four of his last seven. Thomas Harley has an assist in four of his last five, had an assist in four games in a row, didn't get one in his last game. Uh, if I was going to add another prop, it would be Thomas Harley here. Mikhail Granlund, um, a point in five of his last six games for the San Jose Sharks. Um, oh, did I miss some? Did I miss? Did I miss? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yes. 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 Uh, Vitrano shots and goal. I like it, Juan. I like it. Uh, Seattle loses ninth in a row to the Ducks. I could see that. I could. Uh, Dallas um, puck line, Ben Point and Johnston Point. All right. Over six and a half, Jamie Ben Point, my favorite play on the board and still deciding on my second favorite play. All right. All right. Uh, Stars, Terry. Very heavy favorites. Uh, very heavy favorites. That's all I'll say here. Sharks first goal, plus 155 at DK. Interesting. And if San Jose does get off to a good start here, this could be a good spot to uh, live bet Dallas if you can get a decent price in them at some point in the game. Sharks money line. Dallas plays down to competition. All right. All right. Excited for baseball, Terry. Saw the sheet is already prepped. Yes. Um, for baseball, it's just going to be player props uh, in the spreadsheet um, for at least a while. Uh, I may get to some team stats, but probably not until hockey's over, just because it's going to be a lot. Uh, with now two daily shows and the spreadsheet, it's just going to be a lot. So player props will all be in the spreadsheet uh, for baseball. Uh, most of my sides and totals, I'll be honest, are going to be for sale. Uh, but uh, I'll still give out some first five stuff on the uh, on the show as well. Second period over, just so I said it. Yes, and I will be looking to live bet it. Uh, I will. But now we go on to the two parlays of the day because <laughs> I had to pick two uh, here for today. Um, starting with the first one, which is a uh, player prop parlay. Philip Forsberg, over half a point. Um, why am I taking him? Well, because as I said earlier, he is on a point streak and um, he's been one of my go-tos for the parlay of the day. He's got a point in 13 of his last 14 games. Enough said. Uh, Jonathan drew in over half a point. Uh, why am I taking him? Well, uh, he has an assi assist in four games in a row, six of his last eight, three games in a row with two or more points. Uh, he's been on fire. Uh, and now he's facing his former team, the Montreal Canadiens. So Forsberg point and drew in point plus 149 for the player prop parlay of the day and yes people asked earlier i like the canes money line and i like the predators money line but i don't like the price in either so what are we going to do we're going to parlay them together plus 162 um you are going to see this a lot for me especially with baseball season uh you are going to see money line parlays uh, because there are just a lot of games in baseball where the money line prices are out of my range. Uh, and I love to parlay baseball money line parlays together. So I will be doing that, especially for baseball. But for the situation here tonight, um, Kane's money line and Preds money line for the second parlay of the day. The first one, Forsberg over half a point and Druin over half a point for today's two parlays of the day. We've won the parlay of the day in the last four shows. Now we've got two. Uh, so now we got to win two of them today uh, to keep the streak going. Uh, Lotto play anytime point from Ben Keller, Drew and Bashar, Nylander Carlson. Uh, I would not talk you off it. I would not talk you off it. I like it, Tommy. There you go. Uh, Captain Bry loves it. Awesome. And well done, Terry. Thank you, Richie. Much appreciated. Thanks, Terry. Another great show. Uh, thanks, Nick, for watching. And people that watch the Ice Guys, get ready to hear a lot of what you just heard again because I'm on the Ice Guys show again today. So get ready to hear a lot of this stuff uh, again <laughs> if you watch both shows. I like it, Tommy. Let's go, Red Wings. Outstanding show, Terry. Thanks, Timothy. Much appreciated. Thanks, Terry. Good luck, uh, and I'll see you on Ice Guys in the Betcast. Yes, he will. I lock. Oof. He's a uh, Bruins and Panthers under six and a half. Don't like the word lock, but best of luck. Best of luck. 
Thanks, Terry. Let's go today. Yes. Best of luck to everyone today. We'll see you if you're going to be on the uh, watching the Ice Guys betcast tonight, and then uh, we'll see you on the Ice Guys show here in about 20 minutes. Best of luck in your bets tonight. Thanks for watching, guys.